His chest was rock solid, but also somehow soft, like an Easter peep that had been sitting out in the sun for too long. He wanted her bad, so bad that Grammar could take a hike. Did he want her badly? Grammar be damned, he wanted her bad. She loved the taste of him, but hated how much she loved it. And loved how much she hated how much she loved it. And hated how much she loved she hated how much she loved it. The desire for each other was strong, but not too strong. In fact, sometimes it was kind of weak, but not too weak. It was strongly weak and weakly strong. Their love for each other long outlasted the pleasure of desire met. Like Cheetos dust on fingers that mars everything it touches and everyone looks at it and says, Ew, gross, what have you been doing? Their coupling left them hungry. Hungry like someone who was thirsty. Thirsty for a beverage. But not too thirsty. Just thirsty enough to let them know that they had been coupling. Their desire for each other was sharp, like a knife stabbing into their stomach and penetrating through their gallbladder, which probably isn't located in the stomach. They wanted each other. The clank of their chastity belts was a song unto itself, and their faces glistened with the sweat of desire. Like french fries being left on a plastic tray when the place runs out of paper liners. I can't say this.